Tales about the Fountain of Youth have been passed down through centuries, yet we still haven't managed to find it. Or have we? The people of one small Greek island would have you believe so. Keep watching to find out how they managed to live a lot longer than the rest of us. Before we get into the hows and whys, you've got to hear more about this place. Located in the Aegean Sea, Greece's 98-square-mile island Ikaria is home to approximately 8,500 people. Many believe these people hold the secret to eternal youth. Well, maybe not eternal, but one-third of Ikaria's population does live to be in their 90s and even older. And the majority of them are in good health by the time they get there. Compare that with the U.S. average life expectancy of 78 years, the U.K.'s 81 years, and Canada's 82 years. So, what is their secret? Well, they've got plenty. Number 1. A Healthy Diet This one may not come as a big surprise, but their well-balanced diet does play a role here. These people aren't chowing down on greasy burgers and giant milkshakes at 1 a.m. every weekend. Since a Korea is located on a secluded island, rough seas often deterred merchants away from trading goods with them over the years. That forced the island's inhabitants to be more self-sufficient and grow their own crops. This way of life has continued all the way up to the present day, and you'd be hard-pressed to find an Icarian who doesn't have their own year-round garden on their property, even today. They love growing fruits and veggies for delicious dishes they make from scratch. Their diet consists of beans, herbs, nuts, and of course, seasonal fruits and vegetables. These non-processed foods packed with all kinds of antioxidants seem to have an undeniable impact on their health. Without all the pesticides and preservatives in their food, it's no wonder so little of Ikaria's residents suffer from diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia when compared to those in other parts of the world. I guess it's true what they say, you are what you eat. Number 2. Their sense of community The Ikarian people are very community-oriented, and being there for one's neighbor, no matter what, seems to be their life motto. This way of thinking developed over time because of a pretty rough history not short of invasions by other nations. Through tough times, these people have learned to stick together and have each other's back. This strong sense of community also isn't all that surprising, since Ikarians live on a secluded island. Sure, they're not trapped there, and they can venture out by boat or a plane. Yes, they do have an airport. It's just that most of them are perfectly content staying right where they are. And wouldn't you be too if your homeland was famous for keeping people alive for a really long time? Since families tend to live here generation after generation, close friends and relatives usually live within walking distance from each other, making it easy to keep that connection strong with regular visits. It's totally normal here to ask your neighbor to help you with something, or lend some ingredient for a dish you're whipping up. It really does sound like a little piece of utopia. Number 3. An Active Lifestyle Ikaria is full of rocky roads, which makes even short walks a little more strenuous. While this may sound like a pain in the feet, if you grew up walking these paths from an early age, the exercise wouldn't tire you as fast. Ikarians do a ton of walking around, and since they're so communal, a lot of this walking is to and from each other's homes for visits. This active lifestyle is great for maintaining a healthy weight, and it keeps their cardiovascular health in tip-top shape, even into their old, old age. See? Who needs an overpriced gym membership? Number 4. No clocks Between your job, social life, and daily errands, it's hard not to feel completely controlled by the clock. But people in Ikaria don't feel this way. Unlike most other people in the world, they don't base their daily activities around what time it is. They also don't make plans set in stone. They like to leave things open. So if you make plans with a friend to cook dinner together, they'll show up whenever they think the time's right. They never look at a clock or schedule to see what time they should drop by. Everything is very go with the flow. Hey, I could get used to that. Number 5. More naps Thanks to the absence of clocks, the people of Ikaria listen to their bodies more. So, if they feel like taking a nap in the middle of the afternoon, they take one. Could you imagine taking a nap right in the middle of a workday? It simply wouldn't fly. After a nice afternoon nap, Ikarians feel energized well into the late evening, so they can easily socialize and do fun activities until early morning. And then, when they drift off to sleep for the night, they wake up when their body is ready. No alarm, no snooze button. Sounds too good to be true. Number 6. Less Stress In most parts of the world, the go-go-go rat race is just how life is, and you've got to deal with it. But in Ikaria, nearly 40% of people don't have jobs. While this sounds stressful, it's actually part of what makes these people worry-free. 
Since they don't have much disposable income, they're not worried about buying the latest this or that or trying to keep up with the mortgage payment on some lavish home. They're happy with what they have and enjoy living modestly. Hey, without the stress of your job, rent, and credit card bills, what else is there to worry about? Number 7. Spending Time With Family Ikaria is one of five places that scientists call blue zones. No, this isn't because they live near water. Being a blue zone means that the people in some specific place live longer than those in the rest of the world. There are villages in Italy, Costa Rica, Japan, and California that are also designated as blue zones. Something that experts studying in Korea and other blue zones have noticed is that these people are very close with their families. The elders play a pretty significant role in their daily lives. There aren't any old folks' homes or anything like that. In fact, grandparents often help raise their grandkids and even run the family business. One 2009 study published in the Journal of Social Neuroscience says that emotional support from family and friends can literally pull you out of depression and enhance the brain activity in the frontal lobe. In layman's terms, it's a total mood booster. Number 8. They don't hold on to things Do you find yourself holding grudges against people you fell out with years ago? All this negative energy can really aid you because it stresses you out and puts you in a bad mood. Hanging on to grudges can even hold you back from experiencing new things. But in Ikaria, people live in the moment and try not to get upset about things that have happened in their lives. Ikarian people love dancing and celebrating with each other and being their true authentic selves. Life is way more fun this way. They manage to live more uninhabited and are less stressed for it. It's not surprising that the therapy profession isn't really a thing over there. Number 9. They don't use Western medicine when you have a headache, you take some aspirin. When you have a stomach ache, you gulp down what looks like hot pink nuclear waste. You won't find these kinds of medicines over in Ikaria. Instead of Western medicinal practices, the people of Ikaria practice more natural medicine and stick to non-processed materials to heal the body. They typically use herbs to treat ailments like cuts and rashes and let the body heal itself at its own pace. So, which of the Ikarian's everyday practices would you adopt to live a longer, happier life? Sound off in the comments below! I, for one, like the idea of getting rid of my alarm clock. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side. Yeah.